Cornubia is really our cornerstone project. Uh, we did a consultation back in 2011 to find out the needs and wishes of the local people and uh, a community building was right at the top of their list of requests. We have three overarching principles. One is community, the second one is creativity and the third is enterprise. It's um, a place where we can carry out community engagement, have creative activities and it's also um, a place where social entrepreneurs can uh, be given help and information and get businesses started up. Unlimited's role in the area is to support social entrepreneurs. Uh, we work with those people that have an idea or they're just starting their venture or they're growing their venture. We provide access to, to finance through um, awards and we also offer uh, support both at pre-application and then once someone's become an award winner. Hi, my name is Jessie Mitchell and I am the founder and creative director of Center Stage. Center Stage is a drama school for children and young people aged 3 to 18 in Cornwall. Cornubia is an incredible space. It was left disused for a while. Um, it's got a lot of history in it. Um, a lot of people remember it as a dance hall and there are some couples in the area, elderly couples who met here way back in the day. So it's got a brilliant history but also it's a creative hub, it's a social hub, it's a place where you can come and do arts and crafts, you can come and do drama, theatre, you can get some alterations done, um, you can even just come and pop in for a cup of tea, there's always someone here and it's great for those people who don't on a day-to-day -day basis necessarily get to see many people, so it's a wonderful place to come and socialise as well. As a drama teacher I thought it would be quite easy for me to just get some freelance work as a creative in the area but there were actually no classes so me knowing having worked with children for so long what theatre could bring to young people and children I thought well we can't have that so I started my business and we're over a year later and it's booming. My name's Jill Dean and I make children's clothing on vintage sewing machines up in my little workshop upstairs and the other part of my business is where I enable local people to sell their product through my shop so it doesn't go into landfill, chucked away or end up in the corner of a charity shop. I've got upcycled products, I have new products but it's all pretty much made in Cornwall for people that aren't big businesses. It's a hub here really that people can drop in, there's lots of things going on, it's not all sort of textiles related, it's somewhere central, everyone knows where Canubia is and pretty much what we do. It's about talking to the community and having events they can come along to, it doesn't cost them anything, and then you get talking to people and from that we learned that we needed to have, there's a social group that meet here on a Tuesday and they do knitting, but we found out from talking to the community that's what they wanted, so that's what they, they come and do. To recognise what is unique about your area, you really have to know your area well. Our special need, if you like, is the fact that uh, we had a great big China clay industry which declined, but we still have a wonderful beach, we still have a wonderful community. Once you get to know your communities, then they trust you or you need to gain their trust. Social entrepreneurs can be brought together in a myriad of ways. You can create social networking events where um, local creatives, local business people can come and share what their profession is, share their business. Don't be afraid of asking for help. Don't be afraid of reaching out to locals in your community and saying, I have this idea, I have this business that I want to spread and you can guarantee that there's always someone who's willing to help and offer advice. So I would say that's probably my, my biggest um, piece of advice is just to ask, reach out, find out what people have to say. 
You either want to create a coffee morning or um, an arts and craft class or a story time for little kids. Um, uh, engage with local musicians, create an open mic night. You know, there's so many different things that you can do. It just takes one person to get up there and say, actually, you know what? My community deserves a little bit of investment in it and a little bit of time. And you can do it. You can do anything. Because of really what we've been doing already, we can now take that further and reach the people who really are in need and use the creativity to bring them out.